back here within our if statement. If there are topics that have been posted within this category, we're going to start printing out a table. So what we're going to do is we're going to define a topics variable and we are just going to start uh, constructing our table that all of our topics will be printed into. We're going to say style equals 100% or width is equal to 100% sorry, style is equal to, we're just going to collapse the border here so it looks a little better. Border collapse, colon, collapse, semicolon, and then before the last uh, double quote we're going to put our ending table tag there. New line, we're going to append to the topics by adding a period equal sign again. And we're going to open up a table row. And we're going to give this table cell a column span of, a column span of equal to 3. And we're going to put a link that says href of index.php. And we're going to put return to forum index. And then we're going to put a, uh, our logged variable at the end of it. And we're going to put a line break, or a horizontal rule, I'm sorry. We're going to close the cell and open, or and close the row. Pen some more. I'm just coding it all out like this so I don't have to open and close and do all this other stuff, blah, blah, blah. So, open another row, I'm going to give it a style equal to a background color of, I'm just giving it d d d d d. Just plain and simple. So that way it, you can tell which is the topic title and all that good stuff. So, I'm going to give this one a width equal to uh, 65, a line equals center, and we're going to say replies, close that off, and one more table cell in this row, give that a width of equal to 85 as well, I'm sorry, 65, align that to the center. And we're going to say views. Another one. Open up a row. A cell with a column span of three. And all it's going to be is a horizontal rule. Now, we need to create a while loop so we can start drawing our data from our or, uh, data from our database. Dollar sign row is equal to uh, the MySQL fetch uh, soch of our result. This is being result two right there, and we're going to say inside of those curly braces. So this is with inside of our while loop. We're going to uh, pull some variables from the data. So we're going to say TID is equal to row of the ID. Next variable we're going to say is the title. And this is all data that is coming from the topics table. We're going to say topic underscore title. We're going to say views is equal to row views or I'm sorry, topic v underscore views. I'm going to say date is equal to row topic underscore date. And we're going to say creator is equal to row topic underscore creator. Now we're going to put some more data into our topics variable. Make sure you put the uh, dollar or, uh, period before the equal sign, so we're appending to our data. 
open up a new table row. First cell, we want to put a link. And we're just going to equal it to nothing for now. Or actually, we're just going to go ahead and put it in there. We're going to put view topic. This page has not been created yet, but we'll create it pretty soon. We're going to put our variables in here right now. Our CID is going to be equal to double quotes inside of there. We're going to put CID. And after that, we're going to put an AND. We're going to put another variable within the URL called the TID. The TID. That lost a spot. There. And we're just going to print out the title. Close off our link tag. I put a break. It's going to open up a, sp a span with a class equal to post info. And we're going to say posted by. Inside of there, we're going to put creator. And then on. date. I'll close off our span. And I'm just using a span so we can style it later. Close off that cell. And for now, for the views and the replies, I'm just going to put a default value in there. I'm not going to worry about actually pulling the data from the database right now because we'll get to views and counting and all that stuff in a bit. I'm just going to center the information here so it look, looks a little nicer right now and we'll take care of it later. And for that one there's put zero as well. Actually for the views we are actually going to put something in because we are drawing that from the database. Sorry. Replies we'll just put in a static zero for now. And then after that we're just going to put topics but once again equal to a row with the call column span of three. We're just going to put another horizontal rule. End off that row. Under that, we need to close our table. Actually, without outside of our while loop, so after here, after our while loop uh, bracket, right here, which goes all the way up to here. After that, and for the ending bracket here, we're going to end our table with inside of our topic variable. like that. Okay, if we go to print it out, we're going to save it, go back to here, we're going to say random form, we're going to say there are no topics in our category yet. It must have made a spelling error up here, somewhere maybe, because it's supposed to give us a link. Uh-huh, right there. Save that. Okay, I see what I did. Back here on our uh, view category page, I forgot to close off our single quote here. And so we're not getting the option to create a category. So save that. Refresh. It says click here to create a topic. So if we were to log out and go to a topic, it doesn't say anything about creating a topic. It says please log in to create topics in this forum. So log back in. Go here, no index to, or no topics to create in this category. Please click here to create a topic. So, what we need to do now is we need to create our page that will create our topics. So, let's go ahead and do that. Oops, I'm not sure why I closed that. I'm going to create a new PHP page. And what we're going to do is we're just going to take all this out and we're going to copy in this um, code from our other view category page. We're just going to knock out all the data within the content here. And since this is going to be a page that only members can access, we need to add some security to this. So at the top, oops, no, yeah, under the session start, we're going to open up another PHP block and close it. 
inside there, we're going to say if, oh here, we're going to grab this block right here, and we're going to cut this out, and we're going to paste it right here. So we'll do our session ID check. We do not need a login form. So we'll take that out, and we're going to basically put if the session ID is not set, we're going to send them back to the home page because they are not supposed to be here since they are not logged in. They have no right to be here. They can't access this page. So, But we're going to add one more stimulation to this. We're going to say if is set session UID, add some more parentheses here, and then we're going to say or, which is the two uh, lines right above the enter key on a Windows computer. Enter that. We're also going to say dollar sign get variable of CID. So basically, if the user ID does not exist and they're not logged in, they're going to be taken back to the home page. If there is no CID variable in the URL, they're going to be taken back to the home page because we need a category ID to, for this uh, page to print out properly. And then in the else statement, we do not need an else statement because there's no if, ands, or but about that. So right on that, we're going to assign CID equal to the get of CID. Okay. Just going to change this real quick to create forum topic. And that reminds me that we're going to save this, and we're going to say create underscore topic. Back here on our view category page, if you want to just do this with me, the title page, we're going to say view categories. I was just forgot to change the title when I copy and pasted the code, so yeah. Okay, back here on the create topic.php page, right under uh, where our old if statement used to be, all we're going to do is we're going to echo out a saying that says you are logged in as well we're just going to give them the option to log in or out so we're going to copy this right here and we're just going to put that right there so that just t gives them an option to log out nothing big so down inside our content tag here we're going to create a form I'm going to give an action equal to create underscore topic underscore parse dot php. Our method is equal to post. Inside of our form tags, I'm going to do this. I'm going to say topic title. Oops. And with an input type equal to text, I'm going to give it a name equal to topic underscore title. I'm just going to give it a size equal to 98 and the max length equal to 150. And the next one will be topic content. Input type equal to text. Oops, I'm sorry. We're going to get text area not an input type, I'm a little retarded. Text area, name equal to topic underscore content. I'm going to give that a rows equal to 5, columns equal to 75, and close that off. Now we're going to put two line breaks. And then we're going to, we need to put in a hidden input here and that will contain our category ID variable which is set at the top here so inside of our value we're going to just use PHP to echo out our CID variable PID echo our CID variable just like that and then under that we just need a input type of submit name equal to topic underscore submit value of create your 